hot tray, we're going to be making bison phyllo rolls. Phyllo, phyllo, tomato, tomato, I don't know how to say. So let's check out our ingredients. Now this is only my first time working with phyllo dough. I went to Greece and I was a cheese pie addict, so I found some in the store and I decided to try this. So let's see, I've never made it. We're going to be using ground bison today. If you don't have that, you can use ground turkey, ground pork, whatever your favorite ground meat is. I'm be using one egg, and then these. I usually don't use a lot of bell peppers because I'm not a big fan, but I saw these at the market. So pretty, how could you resist? I chopped up one of these fairly small, quarter of a cup. Parsley, cilantro, basil, crushed garlic, and then every time I went to grab the chives, somebody took them before me. So the woman told me to try these garlic chives. Never used them before, but should be great. I'm going to use a pinch of uh, some Parmesan. And last, but certainly not least, I went to the store and thought, what can I use today? Philadelphia cream cheese, sun-dried tomato, and basil. So I'm going to mix all of these ingredients up. I'm going to get my phyllo dough out of the fridge. And then I'm going to place them down on top of it, and I'm going to roll it. So what I want to tell you today about this contest and what it's done is I had a birthday and all my friends from New York have been so supportive and watching the videos on YouTube. So I just got everything about cooking. I got an apron and I got um, an oven mitt and a towel and a ground pepper um, machine thing, whatever you call it, because mine broke. I got some nice little coasters. And I got all these gifts from my friends because they're so supportive. And even though I can't be with them, about 6,000 miles away, they're just so close to my heart. So I'm going to get cooking, and I'll show you where we're headed. So what I'm doing now is prepping my filo dough. Um, basically, what you have to do, and there's a bunch of research online, is you coat each side, you fold it like a book, and you coat each side folding it back with either butter or olive oil. Because I'm not baking, I'm going to use olive oil. And now I'm just down to my last layer here. And basically, it's very fragile. Very fragile. Eh? So what you have to do is make sure it's the perfect temperature. Which may, mine may be a little too warm, but I'm being very gentle. Otherwise, it'll start to break. So it just has to be defrosted just the right. Eh? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread my meat. Come look at this meat. It is beautiful. I am partial to color, as you may have already told, can tell from my other videos. So I have a bunch of herbs, basil, parsley, cilantro. Oh, let me add in that salt and pepper. Thanks for the gift, bye. I love cracked pepper. Today I'm going to use cracked salt. I want it a little thicker. I want to taste it. I use a combination of different kinds of salt. Usually all sea salt. Cracked, fine. So this is our sun-dried tomato cream cheese, our bison. And it's pretty hot in here. It's the morning. We usually do our videos at night. Working up sweat. But... I'm talking about making this recipe and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I woke up before my husband goes to work. We're going to shoot this. And then he got me a food processor for my birthday. So I'm going to practice making all sorts of things with it while he's gone. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is spread it on the filo. And then I'm going to roll it. So I used about six pieces of the filo. So it's not too thick, not too thin, but I can roll it, but I can get that flaky taste. 
I'm going to spread this evenly, and then I will show you how I'm going to roll it. We have our bison meat spread out. So come look at this. I lucked out because this has made exactly what I wanted, and I have nothing left in my bowl. That's about one pound of meat. Bison, or the buffalo, roam, play, the antelope, do something, I don't know. So, I just left a little bit of a perimeter, and now we're going to roll. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. As you can tell, I would never try out for American Idol, so I don't think that counts as music in the background. <laughs> this is going to be so haughty. I've been dreaming about this. And what I love about this competition is I love working with different tools, different ingredients. I started making things from scratch. I made scones for the first time the other day. Today I'm going to try to make donuts. I've never done that before. I've never used the phyllo dough before either. So I love it. Thank you guys for giving me this opportunity. All right, it's rolled. Look at this. It is a tunnel of love. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is bake it. Probably going to take 30 to 40 minutes. And we're going to see what it looks like. So you wanted a light golden flake. Not too much, not too little. Just right. So it will be locks. Okay. I'm going to bake, and I'll see you in a Welcome back. So we took our bison phyllo dough out of the oven. Come close. Let's see this. I have to admit, we've already eaten a little bit because it was so good we couldn't resist. And you can see the layers of the phyllo and some pieces of the red pepper. So, this has been a delicious experience, and I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to make this for you and make this for myself and my family. So, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bonjour. <laughs>